In my last tutorial, I showed you how to build the HTML skeleton. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you, a, show you and explain to you how you can set up paragraphs and how you can make your text more emphasized. <clears throat> well, the first thing that you were probably wondering from my last, um, my last tutorial is probably how can you, how can you give breaks to the line, or how can you bold a, a, a specific um, word, or how can you italicize or underline? Well, those are the questions that I'm going to be discussing today. Look, to first answer your very first question, how do you give a break to a line? Well, this is very easy. All you need to add is the br element or the br tag. So, say you want to um, give give one break or or um, drop thank you for visiting to the next line. So you give you add the br tag right after um, the the sentence right before the sentence that you would that you would like to be on the next line. So let's save and let's look how it looks like. This is how we used to have it and now I'm going to press refresh and as you can see it moved to the next line. If you want to move it another line down you can just simply add another BR and then save and refresh again and it will be moved down to the next line. You can add as many BRs as you want to. It will keep going down for you. Now you, you may probably wondering why aren't you closing the BR? Well, it's it's pretty um, it's pretty sensible because once you give a break, it's that's it. There is no more no more things to go on with. It's only a break. You'll understand this as you get more advanced in the HTML language. So you do not need to close the BR. There's two ways to do to do this. You can also add a paragraph tag. I'm going to delete the BR and I'm going to start a paragraph. You can use the P tag to do this. Just open a P tag and this is your paragraph. Hmm. Well, my paragraph ends right here. So I'm going to end the paragraph because a paragraph has a start and an end, but a break does not have a start or an end. It has a start, but it doesn't have an end. And hello is another paragraph. So I'm going to open a paragraph and simply close it again. Now I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh the page to show you what happened. This is one paragraph and this is the next. So this will this will allow you to not have to put two BRs. This is just one BR and two paragraphs. This is this is just an organization tool. We can do either BR or the paragraph. Now be advised that the paragraph does not indent for you. So if you're planning on right it on putting your essay online, well, you may want to put spaces before the welcome. Okay, how about emphasizing your text? Well, let's 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 make the wel welcome word bold. So we are going to add the B element. So if you leave the B element just like this and do not do anything else, the whole the your whole text on the web page will be bold. But since we only want to to add the welcome welcome uh, word as bold we are going to close the bold element so let's save and let's take a look going to refresh this page and there you are the welcome word is now simply bold you can also italicize words let's go ahead and italicize the word website I'm going to add the i element now i'm sure you can see a pattern the, the starting letter will will be the tag that you will be using. This is only in the case of bold, um, italic, italics and underline. So let's save and let's see how our italics look like. There you are. The website is now uh, is italicized. Let's underline the word hello. I'm. You are probably guessing. Well, it's you. And you are correct. It is you. The you. You are going to use the U tag to underline hello. There you go. Now let's save. And let's refresh. And there you are. The word hello is now underlined. What if you wanted to make everything bold and just keep everything else the same? Well, that's easy. 
you can just remove the remove the closing tag of the bold he here and put it right down here let's save and let's refresh and there you are everything is bold the hello is still underlined on the website is italicized pretty cool huh so that was my tutorial on on how to type a simple essay i hope you have learned something more if if you have questions about the previous uh, the previous tutorial you can just refer to the html lesson number one and watch that for the skeleton and everything else that, that was written here previously thanks for watching